This method describes general steps for aphid culturing and steps for the genetic analysis of aphids. These methods can be applied to answer key questions in the evolution and ecology of aphids and the molecular mechanisms underlying aphid biology. The main advantage of this technique is that it can be generally applied to most aphid species and performed at a relatively low cost. Begin by filling a standard seedling tray with germination mixed soil, taking care that the soil reaches the top of the wells. When all of the wells have been filled, make a 3 cm deep hole in the soil of each well and place one seed into each hole. Water the cells until the soil covering the seeds is saturated and place the tray in a greenhouse with daily to every other day watering to maintain a moderate soil moisture level. When the seedlings have grown their first set of full leaves, fill 4-inch round pots with potting soil up to about 5 cm below their rims. Create a hole in the soil deep enough to reach the bottom of the pot and gently scoop the mature seedlings by hand to place them deep within the holes in the new pots. Then, cover the seedlings with soil and water the seedlings daily to every other day to maintain a moderate soil moisture level. When the plants have grown at least three to four sets of full leaves and are at least 10 centimeters tall, Manually inspect the plants for any unwanted pests and use a mouth pipette to carefully transfer a single reproducing field-collected adult aphid onto the leaf of the first plant to create an isoclonal line. When all of the aphids have been transferred, securely cover the plants with a custom...